Flights, yachts, fishing trips, lavish vacations, and using taxpayer-funded employees to push sales of a book. All things most politicians would be in trouble for doing. But as WAND's Doug Wolf reports tonight, there's no ethics code when it comes to the nine members of the United States Supreme Court. Democratic Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois attempting to get the Supreme Court to follow a code of ethics has been a decade-long battle. It was more than 11 years ago in a very different Supreme Court when I first urged the Chief Justice to adopt a binding code of conduct. Recent media reports contending Justices Sotomayor, Thomas, and Alito have failed to disclose possible conflicts as accelerated efforts to pass legislation to put their feet to the fire. Democratic Congressman Sheldon Whitehouse introducing a code of ethics in the Senate Judiciary Committee. My belief that the Supreme Court has been captured by special interests, much like a railroad commission in the 1890s might have been captured by railroad barons to decide things their way. Republicans argued against the measure as an attack on the court, offering a series of amendments and stating the bill will eventually die in the near future. You got the votes to get it out of here, but this thing's dead as fried chicken on the Senate floor, and it's dead as fried chicken in the House. I can assure the American people this ill-conceived effort in the name of reforming the court will go nowhere in the United States Senate. They are the most powerful judges in America, and yet they are not required to follow even the most basic ethical standards. The ethics measure passed on an 11 to 10 party line vote and now goes to the full Senate. Doug Wolf reporting, WAND News. Republicans say they will vote against the ethics code in the full Senate, calling it an attack on the current conservative court.